So for those of you that don't know, I'm Maggie, and today we are diving through Billy's entire range of products. They started out as just a razor subscription company and have since then expanded into dry shampoos and makeup wipes and a bunch of different cosmetics that I was really eager to try out. And I do want to give a special thanks to Magic Links who reached out and actually provided these products to me for free for review purposes. However, these thoughts and opinions are completely my own and this video is not sponsored in any way. In case you're completely unfamiliar with the Billy brand, I have done an entire video about their razor subscription just on its own. And then I also did a compare and contrast against Billy and Flamingo razors. So if you're curious about which one is better, I really encourage you to go watch that video. But today we're gonna be fully focused on Billy <laughs> and Nash apparently. The first product that I got were the Wonder Wipes. And these I have seen advertised absolutely everywhere. Instagram, Facebook, so I was very, very curious about these. This says that they are on triple duty. It removes makeup, deeply hydrates, and visibly brightens your skin because it's formulated with vitamin C to brighten and then hyaluronic acid to hydrate. It says these Extra thick towelettes are the ultimate multitaskers. They're soaked in a gentle blend of cleansers that instantly removes makeup, dirt, and oil. The pros of these makeup wipes are that I love that they don't have a fragrance. It says no synthetic fragrance or other bad stuff. These wipes are as clean as it gets. Vegan, cruelty-free, alcohol-free, paraben-free, sulfate-free, which is true for the entire Billy line, which I really like. I also loved that these towels were extra thick, almost a waffle weave kind of texture. They also felt extremely stretchy and they were serum infused enough to where I didn't feel like I needed to add any extra moisture to them. Those points were all there. While it did remove makeup, it definitely did. It did no better than like my makeup wipes that I have from Costco or any Neutrogena wipes that I'd tried in the past. These are nothing to write home about as far as makeup removal goes. But as for the rest of it, I do like their ingredients. I loved the texture of the makeup wipes. But in general, I've been double cleansing and using an oil cleanser and then my regular kind of foaming cleanser. And I haven't really been using makeup wipes a whole lot. So these are not gonna be the products that I go and repurchase immediately. If you're somebody that's really picky about makeup wipes or makeup wipe texture, I can see you going gaga over this. But if you're somebody that thinks that the Neutrogena ones are fine and they remove your makeup enough, then I wouldn't say that you need a spring for these. All in all, these are kind of like middle of the road for me. The next product I got was the Floof Dry Shampoo and I got mine in the shade for light hair. That's one thing that I do want to point out about this dry shampoo is that it does come for those with dark hair and light hair so that you don't end up with that kind of horrible white cast that I talk about all the time. Now something that's different about this is this is not an aerosol can. It doesn't spray into your hair. It actually just has this little hole right here and you just kind of pour the powder into your hair and then you just kind of floof it. So the name Floof Dry Shampoo was actually pretty accurate. I thought it was kind of cute to begin with, but it's pretty true. I used it today and I don't think that my hair looks greasy at all. It's done a really, really good job and I've been testing this for about the past two and a half to three weeks and I've really, really liked it. Obviously this over an aerosol can is a little bit better for the environment and it's just super easy to apply. Now it is pretty like bulky and round, but on the whole, it's a lot smaller than a typical dry shampoo can. And so this would be a really great thing to travel with. Also because it's a powder, you don't have to have any fears of it on an airplane or anything in a pressurized can, which is nice. Now this retails for $14 and it is the most expensive item on their website. However, it's gonna take a really, really long time to get through this. This is 1.2 ounces of powder. So think about your typical like face powder that you would use, like a loose powder. It has a little bit more than a normal jar of that has in it. So this will take a while to go through because a little bit goes a long way. I would highly recommend this, especially if you're just looking for a new way to apply dry shampoo or you wanted something a little smaller or maybe you two were shying away from kind of aerosol cans and things like that. This could be a really good alternative. So I know I'm holding up these razors. You're like, Maggie, you've talked about those razors ad nauseum. But I wanted to throw out a couple of points about these for those of you that maybe haven't seen my other videos. So this is the original razor that I purchased about two-ish years ago. And I have absolutely loved the Billy razor. Now, I was looking into getting a new one of these because over time, this does get a little bit gunky and it is a little bit hard to clean out kind of around where the razor attaches to the actual handle. But on the whole, this has held up really, really well. This 
this is the old razor heads that I have on this old blue razor. These are the new razor heads that I have on this one. This is the biggest noticeable difference between the two. And this one has kind of like a yellowish clear kind of color and coating around it. And this one is gray and has more of a charcoal base. Now in my old videos, I mentioned that the serum or whatever coats the old razor blades was so moisturizing and really left a good like kind of conditioning feel on your legs. So good in fact that I didn't think that you needed any sort of shaving cream or conditioner or anything. Now, this is coming from somebody who does not have sensitive skin in the least on their legs and I can get away with even shaving dry if I need to. But to me, these had a little bit ooey, gooier kind of feel around the razor head. Now they're updated ones that have more of a charcoal base, I would say are a lot less moisturizing from that respect. It doesn't leave like an ooey, gooey texture on your legs as you shave, but it is still moisturizing. But those are really the biggest differences that I've noticed from the old razor and the old heads and then the new set. So in case you're completely unfamiliar with how Billy works, it is a subscription style razor company as I previously mentioned. And what that means is that when you go to purchase a starter kit that costs $9, it will come with this handle, it will come with a blade attached, it will come with an additional replacement blade, and then it will also come with this teeny tiny triangular magnetic piece that mounts to your shower wall. This is the most inventive thing about Billy and why I love them so much is because they kind of there's thought through the functionality of a razor. It allows you to magnetize this to your shower wall so that you don't put this down on the ring of your bathtub where it can collect water and rust quicker and then even kind of strip some of that moisturizing quality from around your razor blades. For me, I need new blades sent to me about every three months. I shave about once a week, sometimes less than once a week actually if it's the winter. Now something that they came out with since I purchased my original razor is this $5 travel case and I love the idea of this. It makes so much sense. So it opens up like this and the bottom side of it has these little holes. So let's say you're traveling and you had to shave on your last day and you don't want to pack this razor in your bag with it still being wet. This is so nice because it won't rust or anything because it has those holes to breathe. So all you do is place the razor in here and it's magnetized so that the case doesn't fall off. And then this part just clips down and now you're not gonna cut yourself if you reach into your cosmetics bag and it's keeping everything a little bit more sanitary. You're not gonna get the goopiness from around the actual razor onto any of your makeup or other toiletries. I just think that this thing is genius. It's just like a toothbrush cover or something like that. And it is a little bit tough to get off in my opinion, but I think that that's a good problem to have, especially when you don't want it to fall off your suitcase. Now another great thing is that these travel cases only cost five dollars and you don't have to get the one that corresponds to your razor. I just again thought that the multicolored one was fun and so I went for it. And it's it sold separately so you can get whatever color you want. Sticking with the shaving theme, we'll go ahead and talk about their shave cream. Now this is formulated with aloe vera and sage, which I think is so interesting because this to me smells like nothing. I'm pretty sure that this is fragrance free. Our shave cream creates a rich lather designed to give you an effortlessly smooth shave made with soothing shea butter, sage, and aloe vera to keep your skin hydrated and happy every time. It's vegan, it's non-GMO, it's gluten-free, no paraben, sulfates, synthetic fragrances, or animal testing. Now, for a little background on me and shaving creams. I mentioned earlier, I don't have sensitive legs. So for most of my life, I've always just used a little bit of conditioner when I go to shave my legs. I never really saw the need to have an additional shaving cream or product like that because I don't have sensitive skin. Now there are a ton of people in my life that do have extremely sensitive skin and they can't go without shaving cream. So I know that it exists on the market for a reason. But personally for me, I think that I would skip the shaving cream. It is perfectly good. I do think that it works up to a nice lather. I do think that it is really moisturizing. I love the texture of it. A little bit goes a long way. So again, no real bad things to say about the shaving cream other than for me, I feel like it's a little bit unnecessary. And I think it's a good time for me to go ahead and mention the body wash. And the reason being is that I think if you're gonna get one of these, it needs to be the body wash. And I have so many reasons why. So first of all, this is their Sudsy body wash. This is made with shea butter and grapefruit. This has an excellent smell. And I personally do like a little bit of fragrance in my products for the shower. I love coming out smelling fresh and clean. So this gets points for having a little bit of a fragrance. 
And because they use natural ingredients, I feel like the fragrance that's in this is not gonna be irritating. This is vegan, non-GMO, gluten-free, no paraben, sulfate, synthetic fragrances. There you go, grapefruits real, and no animal testing. It says our ultra lathering body wash is designed to cleanse and moisturize skin, made with shea butter and grapefruit to leave your skin feeling soft, hydrated, and refreshed with every wash. Apply to white skin and gently work into a lather to cleanse or shave. Do you hear that? Cleanse or shave? Here's the deal. Their body wash tells you that you can use it as a shave cream, which I am all about a multi-purpose product. Now, another reason that I would encourage you to buy the body wash over the shave cream is because this bottle is 12 fluid ounces and this costs $9. This bottle is 6.5 fluid ounces, so it's about half the size, and this cost $8. So for one additional dollar, you can get double the product, and you can use this as both your body wash and your shave cream. So to me, this is just overall a better value, and mad respect to Billy for going ahead and recognizing, hey, you can use this as a shave cream too. Like, even though they sell a shave cream, they're still being realistic that this can be both, and it works as both. So in my opinion, I think this smells better or smells at all. It's a better value, and it has multi-uses. So I think all in all, their body wash for me was a big old hit. I think I would probably would repurchase this. It does leave me feeling extremely moisturized, which I really appreciate. Last but not least, I picked up three of their Super Salves, AKA it's just like a tinted lip balm. Now they do make this in two other shades, or I really should just say scents or flavors, because they have two others that are clear, one in the scent parsley, which I thought was very strange, and then one that's just like fragrance free. It's just a straight up lip balm. For me, I thought it would be fun to, to try the tinted ones. I don't wear a ton of crazy lip colors, but I just thought that this would be a fun way to work in kind of a light wash of a unique color, if you know what I mean. So I ended up getting mine in three different shades. The first one is Sorbet, and this one's my favorite one. This is the one that lives in my purse, and it's just a very great everyday summer shade. Again, these are not gonna be like full color, like bam, lipstick on your lips. These are kind of like as they say, you ate a popsicle and you have a little bit of that color left on your lips. Do you know what I mean? The next color that I got is the shade Fig. And I've previously mentioned this one specifically in a favorites video because this is a dead ringer dupe for the Nivea tinted lip balms. The difference is these don't have any sort of scent. But it's a little less vibrant, I will say. The Nivea is a little bit more pigmented than this. But honestly, they perform the same. They're both hydrating while providing color and just making you look a little bit more put together. And lastly, I thought this would be a really fun summer shade. This comes in the shade Rhubarb and this they describe as like a fire engine red. Now at first I was freaked out because I was like, oh, a slippy slidey product that's marketed as fire engine red could be dangerous. But I really haven't had any issues with this when I've worn it. It does give the lightest wash of color in my opinion. This takes a lot to kind of show up and is definitely the least tinted. Now I'm a little bummed because Sorbet seems to be sold out on their website and I can't figure out why it's not listed at all and I really hope that they didn't discontinue it because this one was my favorite. But if you're looking for a happy medium, I think that Fig is the next best thing. The packaging is cool. They come in these little cardboard tubes. And when you pull them out, they're just in this little clear packaging like this, which is nice because if you do have multiple colors, it's really easy to tell them apart. Do a great job of moisturizing and again, providing a little bit of color, which is what I want, like an easy breezy lip product that actually moisturizes and is doing something good for my lips while also making myself look a little bit more pulled together. Now, unfortunately, I was not able to get my hands on the body lotion. That was sold out at the time when I actually went in and ordered these products, unfortunately. So one day I do hope to try the body lotion, but in the meantime, I will say, I've been impressed with Billy's products. If you were to walk away with this video, buying just a couple of things, my top, top recommendations would absolutely be the $9 razor starter kit. This is what started it all. This is what put Billy on the map. And I do think that their razors are far superior to a lot of competitors on the market. I also think that you should go ahead and buy the travel case with it. It's only five bucks. If you bring this anywhere, even if it's just to your parents' house for the weekend or something, I think that this travel case is well worth it. It keeps everything nice and clean and avoids you hurting yourself. The Sudsy Body Wash. Again, multi-purpose product, great price point, smells wonderful, very effective. The Fluke Dry Shampoo. 
I loved the application method of this. At first I was a little intimidated because I had never used anything like it, but honestly it's super user friendly. A little bit goes a long way. This is gonna last forever for $14, which even though this is the most expensive thing on their website, it still comes in way under a lot of the super popular dry shampoos on the market. So anyway, that is my two cents on all of Billy's line. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you're curious again about the actual razor review or maybe how it compares to Flamingo, I'll be sure to link both of those videos in the description box below. But if you like this video, then like it, stick around, subscribe, join the community, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!